travel season is here, plan ahead, experiences in Casco Viejo and in Panama, what to do, how to have fun and learn. So in this video, we are going to explore fun things to do where you can learn about Panama, learn about Latin America, but they will need a little bit of planning ahead. So when you watch this video, now you'll know. First thing, Spanish lessons. In Casco Viejo we have a Spanish school, so one of the things you can do while you stay here is enroll in the Spanish school. It's located on A Avenue between 4th and 5th. It's on the main road. And one of the things and the beauties of enrolling into Casco Spanish School is that not only you will be there, but they also have a program where they take you with experiences like salsa dancing, just knowing places so that you can practice what you're learning. So number one, Spanish school. Number two, salsa classes. Although Casco Spanish School will take you salsa dancing, there are formal salsa classes in Casco Viejo. There is salsa safari right in front of Teatro Amador near Plaza Santa Ana. You will find their Instagram and it's the easiest thing because they have a great website where you can sign up for the classes and they'll give you all the material. It's fun, it's easy, go with friends, go with your partner and you're going to have a blast. Number three, cooking classes. There's also cooking classes in Casco Viejo, but they're cooking classes in general. I didn't know this until I was researching for this video. There are classes on drinks, so that's like boozy classes. They're like Panamanian taking you to the market classes. There's a Frontilian food. The classes that are in Casco Viejo they are just past Plaza Herrera on A Avenue and 11th Street. Those classes will give you a tour through the markets and they'll give you a class there. So it's also very much a Casco Viejo based experience. Number four, chocolate making. Chocolate, who doesn't want chocolate? Are you traveling with your kids? Are you a kid? Go get chocolate. In Casco, you'll see you have two chocolate experiences. One is Nome, which is located next to the cathedral on Central Avenue. Nome produces their chocolate, they have classes of chocolate, and it's really fun. I've done it with our team and it's fantastic. If you're traveling with children, it's a must. And if you'd like to learn more about the history of chocolate and the type of chocolates in Panama, there is the Chocolate Museum on 5th and A Avenue. Next, coffee tasting. In a previous video, we mentioned coffee tasting. There are two places where you can do it, Unido and Sisu. Out of the two, my favorite one for the coffee tasting and history is Sisu. In fact, if you are staying in Panama for a week and you're traveling alone and you're going to Boquete, do the tasting also there because the Lamastus estate actually is in Boquete and Sisu is their Panama City coffee shop. So you'll be able to tie both together. It's super fun, it is delicious. And if you're staying in Casco, absolutely do that. Now, outside Casco, because I promised to talk about things outside Casco, there is Veracruz and you have there a stand-up paddle school. It's one of the things that as a Panamanian we don't take advantage of. So as a tourist, you have to. If you want to learn how to do the stand-up paddle, there is a beach that is 30 minutes away and it's called Veracruz and there is a school there that will take you and give you classes and you'll have a day at the beach. You can do it early whenever the tide is high and you'll have a blast. Also kind of in the Amador area, you'll see that you will have the Smithsonian Tropical Research Marine Stations. If you're coming with children, go visit Punta Culebra. Punta Culebra is where they showcase their marine research and they'll have the touch tanks and all of that. So it's 
great with children, go to Punta Culebra. For that one, you do not need any reservations. Now, Barro Colorado Island, on the other hand, if you're interested in science and learning and hiking and seeing the canal, Barro Colorado Island, which is also under the Smithsonian Tropical Research Institute, it is a great visit. Now for that one you need to book in advance and it is a whole day experience. You will go super early to Gamboa and grab the boat that takes all the scientists to the to the island so you're going to cross a section of the canal and you are going to hike with a scientist into the forest and learn all about the different uh, experiments depending on the person that will guide you you'll see people that are specialists in plants and others in mammals and others in birds every time I go to Barro Colorado it's a different experience you'll go to the research station it will include lunch and then you will come back it is a full experience for the curious mind and you'll see the Panama Canal in a very different light a strange experience but it's super fun drumming listen even if you are not a musician there are musicians that are giving drumming lessons and there's a specific event and that event is called Luna Llena de Tambores. Luna Llena de Tambores is a drumming event that happened with a full moon and it's insane. It's great. I've seen them at the canal. I've seen them at the beach. So they kind of travel with the event. It's a really fun experience. Depending on where you're going, check them out. It's very much worth it checking it out now different experiences but also very much outdoor based especially if you like hiking and if you, if you like nature explore the parks that are around the easiest park to go to is the parque metropolitano and you'll see from butterflies to turtles to ñeques to monkeys parque metropolitano is 10 minutes away from Casco and it's an incredible hike and you will enjoy it. If you are into birds, then there is Parque Soberanía. There's so many natural areas around the city. So when you're coming, I know that most likely you'll be hitting the beaches, but if you're not, in the case that you're here, absolutely explore Parque Metropolitano. So if you like this video about different things to do in Panama and in Panama City, subscribe.